What is going on, everybody? Welcome into another stream, second stream of the day for, I think, the first time since Strategic. Uh, we have another uh, match in the final round of the March Anxious Tournament online. This is going to be Gracchus the Old versus Forged Cake, and I have uh, a co-commentator today as well, uh, Midge. Welcome to the stream. What's going on? Not much. How about yourself? I'm chilling. Getting ready for this match. Same here. They said, let us know when we're ready. So I will say we are live. So uh, I don't know the exact situation here. Maybe you can fill me in since I kind of hopped on more or less last minute to spectate this. Um, is this win and get into the top eight, I assume? Um, the loser is out? or I, Loser's out. Okay. Winner should get in <clears throat> depending on certain uh, matchups, but it's going to be close. I think Bobby has two losses. Okay. So he's going to try to get in at 4-2, which is never <clears throat> easy. But uh, I think he looked it up and said if he wins this match, he has a good shot. Okay. Yeah, nice. I know 4-2 and two does have a chance to slip in every once in a while. So I'll go ahead and take a look at the Warlords as well. We have Azrain the Foul for Gracchus, who has the uh, React to reanimate the first through third. Uh, and then Stonefist, who pretty much everybody knows at this point, too. Just one strike, but does an additional wound. Starts with the Opal to come into play once somebody passes, and he is going to lead with a Schoenhard's Mace. Big play. Drawing that Mace is crucial. That is a really good one for Stonefist. That's big. Bump that skill up for when those Davenous ch checks start rolling in. Yeah, no kidding. Not to mention plus five attack is really solid, too. Oh, yeah. And he can target himself with the order. And AC, yeah. He gets, he gets like a little Colonel Broman. Bang. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So Rama the Cruel Gracchus, like you said, already working up to that fifth rank to potentially drop a Davinus. Yeah, I just played this Gracchus tech uh, two rounds ago. It's good. Once it gets rolling, you're in trouble. Start cycling back those gene courts. Oh, yeah. I'll bet that would be pretty rough as well. I played oh, Wesley to there. open up. Oh, yeah, he's a good one, too. Yeah, I played Wesley to open it up, who was running devs with uh, Davinus, but uh, ended up more so seeing the Cantor boosts from him, uh, running Cardinal Cray. Yeah, we don't. nobody knows why Wes was running actual Cardinal Cray instead <laughs> of Generva, but yeah, Cantor stuff is always good. Yep. So, Forged Kate going to swing on a Genicord Initiate with a Serpent Scale, and it looks like he will miss. Probably he's swinging with the Serpent Scale. <clears throat> he may not have any movement. Well, we know he did go get a Gargoyle of choice. I didn't end up seeing what it was. He might have just told Gracchus as well instead of revealing it. Get Invictus and in rank 6. That is going to be a tough one to get rid of. <clears throat> yeah, he's a beast. He can spend anybody, but I don't think Stonefist cares that much. <clears throat> yeah, no, especially yeah, Stonefist gonna stun all the way up now so definitely no movement mm -hmm. like you said which means no strikes this turn either Figurine of Wonder so Azrain can bump up his level 2 or just create a character as need be and you know uh, Forged Cake personally as well so I imagine you play tested against this deck yeah, I played it uh, second round as well Okay, nice. He played verse. Yeah, I mean, Stonefist does what he does. He comes up there and he starts smashing face. But uh, this is a little rough right here. Yeah. And we do Not see the mill run. different from Stonefist. You just know what's <clears throat> coming. Yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. Pretty much every Stonefist deck is about the same. There might be slight variation in what items you choose to run, but character base, I mean, you have Opals, and that's pretty much the big one. Nil rem, obviously. Getting that plus two attack AC and skill that can stack oh, yeah, he's as well. The key. All right, Magmite. Misread that initially as uh, the adjacent characters get the hit points. That would have been a, a much, much better card. Probably not level which, one, though. Which one? Oh, Magmite. Mag yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, spending Nilvrim up. 
Interesting. Eh, actually, <clears throat> I guess he wants another strike for next turn. Yeah, and I guess not too worried about putting him in harm's way. Those Genicorts aren't really going to be doing a I'm lot of heavy Mara hitting. Too. Oof. Man, just a lot of big characters this turn. So next turn he gets to call an action card and Bobby can't play it. Uh, what are we thinking? What would I call? Uh, Honestly, it's been a I hot minute since I've played Stonefist, so I don't know the action base completely. No prisoners, maybe? Or no, no prisoners or flame blade, I guess? Yeah, can't run Bear Soul because that's level 5. Bloodthirsty or outmatched, maybe? Would he be running yeah. those? I don't think, think I would call no prisoners at this point. <clears throat> oh, That's more, probably the best call. Get Invictus up there. Oh, Grack has passed. Drop the Opal. All right, hands are drawn. Going to round Let's see two. See how it goes. <clears throat> So Force Cake uh -huh. is going to win initiative here. Opal's going to bounce back, and he's going to start off spending that Schoenhardt's Mace. So he's at plus, or maybe not. Now he just readied it. Oh, Ged Morak has to call his action. And I wonder if they're going to put a note on so we can see what it's going to be. Probably not. Mass Blessing. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Oh, I forgot sure. about that. Yeah. And Stonefist is already Mass Blessed. He don't care. Yep, so he is going to use that Schoenhardt's Mace, bump his attack up to plus 9 and his AC to plus 6. So, swinging at plus 18 with 22 AC, or plus 20 because of the nil rem. And he just happens to roll a 1. <laughs> that is The Schoenhardt's Mace only gives you a 4, so. Right, but on top of the uh, other bonuses that it has. Oh, so you're saying 6, 10, 12, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yep, because with the Mace, the plus 4... And the nil rem. He's swinging at plus 20, I believe. There's also a strong possibility I just can't do math anymore. All right. Let's see what he's got here. Let's see what... I'm more worried about what is, uh, this Deverenian got. You know, I think he moved the nil rem up last turn to keep the ranks even for the serpent scale, would be my guess. Mm, okay. So the figurine of wonder manages to get taken down. Stonefist is gonna plow through this army. See what he does. Yeah, get him. Uh, the planer to could get slow him He down. sent up to get Vinger to come up. Once he comes up, everybody in the army DC fifteen or spends that could slow everything down right there. It could, yeah, because even though Stonefist doesn't care too much about being spent, uh. All his weapons yeah, do. Exactly. Yeah, he has to spend other guys. I was just double checking the Get Venger, making sure it was uh, uh, all and not just target. But I mean, so he hits even there. Probably going for the Get Invictus, but oh, I mean, wow. Okay, so there's two wounds there. A but, friendly neighborhood torn. Yep, yeah, the uh, ancient staple. Bang! If you wow. want to get Invictus, I'm sure he did. There he goes. So the planer not slowing him down the way he needs to be. Obby always says, if you want to hit planer, just believe in yourself. <laughs> He's a pretty good planer hitter. Don't think twice about it. Just swing. If you want to hit planer, just roll even. It's as simple as that. So he's going to bring to back. to us. There's a flame blade. So he gets the Get Invictus back into his hand with the return to us. Flame Blade almost certainly going on Get Venger, since it will ignore Planar as a spell. It is a spell, right? Yes. Is that a power attack check? He rolled twice. Let's see any counters. Yeah, if it was a power attack, it definitely failed. Oh, the Schoenhardt's Mace does give skill. Yeah, yeah. No, it looks like pass. it failed. <clears throat> oh, no, yes. Well, if you rolled a 3 oh, for power attack, he's at 10. That would have been a 17. He needed a 6. Yep. So, 
He did hit the Gedventure for two, but not able to take it out quite yet. Brutal. Uh, Wand of Negation is going to be shutting off that mace. That's not good. <clears throat> no, there goes pretty much all of his attack and a solid chunk of his AC. The nice thing is, though, I mean, he's pretty much swinging into low AC or planar. It's not like he desperately needs the attack right now. That skill could come in handy for a Daphnis later on, though. Bang! Another even. Three in a row when he needs them, two when he doesn't care. And he's Oof. back. Celtic and in the chat. Yes. We are streaming this match at least. I'm hoping to get some coverage of the top eight. Depending on when those matches end up being, we'll see. And I would love to cover the championship match if I'm able. But uh, Bobby and Midge reached out to me to see if I was able to cover this one. And I was free tonight and thought it would be a, a fun thing to do to kind of cover this crucial match to see who does and doesn't get into the top eight, so I agreed to. All right, so what happened? Severed? Severed brought back the Gedvenger. So it's going to be at one hit point undead. I guess they were discussing, undead. does the work, <clears throat> the ability work, and it does, so now he's trying to spend them. Oh, it does work, even if he comes back? I think so. Sever to Flesh is... After death, before fixing illegal ranks. So after the death would still technically be before the strike resolves. So you bring Gedvenger back, and then he sees the death. I guess that works. And since he comes back, it's a different dev, so that makes sense. Just one of those funky, like, oh yeah, really difficult to figure I don't it out. Know like these rules, either. Right, like with my deck that I'm playing, uh, or was playing, uh, I was using Kenyon, who says during the strike, character can perform actions as if a level four assassin, with a quick death that says after wounding. So I wasn't sure if there was after the strike, but. After the strike is still during the strike for the purposes of card oh, effects. Okay. It's just super weird. We got a low roll by Bobby. Who was he swinging at? Yeah, but if it was even, that's all you need. Uh, looks like it it's was a gene court. court. And that two still hits because he's 11 AC. Nice. Get Venger is already done his once per turn, and there's nobody ready, anyways. And then Forge Cake's still with five cards in hand, too. We know one of them's an Opal. But I wonder what the rest of those are. Well, he called Mass Blessing, right? So maybe there's a Mass Blessing in there? That's what my thought was. Just something dead maybe that he can't play Maybe a couple guys. Right <clears throat> Him swinging that Gene Corps makes me think he doesn't have any more strikes for the turn. Because he's just trying to waste it. Gene Corps have... carries over to next turn, though. It doesn't go no, off the stack. No, it's end of turn. Oh, it is? It's the next strike this turn. I'm reading it as the next... Oh, it is this turn. I... Yeah. My bad. Good. I was okay, thinking of... Uh, well. I was thinking of Lene Warsong. Oh, that Rama the Cruel killed Gencourt. It's annoying. Oh, that's going to happen soon. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's pretty good uh, strike manipulation right there. So let's see. Grabbing a Magnite, Magnite with the Summon Gargoyle. Okay. So that could give Stone Fist one more strike. And that would be a critical failure, though. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter all that much. But if he's able to get one more character, get that critical failure off the stack, and then take out that Gedvenger so he can't spend his whole army next turn, that would be solid. Yes, sir. I think the minute this goes away, he uses... If I, if I was him, I would kill Jinko or Rama, instantly draw a card. Next strikes and miss. Yeah, that would be smart. That's what I would have done. Okay, he wants to get him up. <laughs> while the ranks are uh, all evened you, up. 
You can still kill the undead uh, Genicort in the back, though, and put that critical failure on the stack. Stone Fist oh, yeah, only being able to happen. do one strike at a time. So you don't necessarily have to shore up ranks before you do that. Interesting. So just plus five attack telling to turn on the Bellicose. <clears throat> He wants him to pass. He wants him to be the first person to pass so he could uh oh drop, drop that, that opal. opal and get an action. That makes sense, yeah. Since you know, no more strikes this turn unless he's able to get that opal out. So it looks like he's just gonna play the opal, not uh able to react with it. So he can't spend it for a strike, he just doesn't get to ready stone fist for that extra strike, but I would have to imagine Oh, so he did kill that Rama. There you go. Or kill oh, the, the Jinnicor. Jinnicor, yep. Yep. So now even with the Opal, he can't take out the Venger this turn. And I wonder what this Phantasm's going to be. Mm. Who uh, is... He's got no, no Cursion. Azran is casting it. That's equal or lower level. So, I mean, it could be... Davinus, maybe... Could be Davinus to try to get him in the graveyard for um, Helm of Undying. Uh, that could be. Could be I... another Gettinger, just for a couple strikes. I, I can't imagine at end of turn it would be a Davinus, just because, I mean, if you stun Stone Fist right now, he's ready, or not ready, but spent next turn. Oh, he's just getting Lord rid Jocks, of that. Lord what a play. Just getting rid of that Shonhard's Mace, okay. Nice play. That is solid, because, I mean, like I was saying, Davinus, if you stun him at end of turn, Stonefist is just spent next turn and can still spend all his guys for strikes, so that is the right play right there. He did have the Wand of Negation, but now he doesn't have to use an action to do that, and if he drops another item, potentially he can use it on that. Yep, I mean, if uh, Bobby Wood's initiative and Maces, I don't think the Wand does anything except for take off the base stats, because he'll still get that four attack AC and skill. This is true, yeah. This helps him. Rod of stone. That's really nice. So just once per turn, able to take a wound off a of stone fist who's already got five hit points. That could definitely slow down Gracchus as well. All right, we go to turn three. <clears throat> Man, look at all those strikes that Stonefist has if uh, Venger doesn't manage to spend them all. All right, sorry, I have to go get a drink. All right, this is, is uh, all good. This is going to be a good turn. Yeah, still we'll not many after, after this turn. Still not many strikes from Gracchus' side. Does have the Venger, but uh, I guess I don't even know exactly what Gracchus' win con is. You said you've played against him, so you want to tell the stream a bit about the deck? Um, it has an MLG and a, and a ring of blasting, so that's that's okay. a win condition. Other than that, it just grinds you down. Is it just a dev dev control deck? Grind you down, get some guys up there, and take over. Okay, so manipulate those Junicorts for critical He runs failures. up, pull the strings as well. We haven't seen that yet, but it's not really okay. the best card verse in this deck. No, I mean, frankly, MLG isn't as good just against any 4 HP Warlord, but exactly. only having 6 skill, Stonefist does have a pretty strong chance to miss it, especially taking off that Shonhard's Mace. This is the turn. Let's see. Let's see how many evens uh, Force Kate got left in him. Yeah, no kidding. Because with that Invictus and Venger up front, you have to imagine he's going for that Venger first. Naming Mass Blessing with the Ged Morak again. Nice. Oh, no, Flame Blade. Oh, no, just changed it to Flame Blade. Okay. He's just worried about one-shotting that Venger, I think. Uh, Bobby definitely held his one Flame Blade in a hand. <laughs> in the graveyard, I wonder if he held the card a mass blessing. That could be. There's pull of strings. You're just talking about. Yeah.
Going on the Rust Gargoyle. Oh, fell by two. It was close. So, that's hilarious. He can swing with it and inflict a wound on somebody with the uh, Rod of Stone now. That was a pretty good target. What a play. I didn't even realize Take why it's so South Avenger. Bang. <clears throat> and no sever to flesh to bring the Venger back this time. That was a pretty good tech last time around to try and spend a few guys, but man, Bobby has three times as many out as last time. That would have been devastating for sure. Oh, yeah, that could have ended it. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Let's see. He's rod of stone in. Yep, so there goes a wound onto Stone Fist, I'll bet. Unless he's taking out uh, another gargoyle. I would take out a gargoyle. Maybe go for Nilbrum and then swing at him? That was a thought that I had, but you're still swinging plus three on a 14. And there it is. Okay. I imagine he'll probably spend the Nilrem for a strike right here. Yep. If that was on Invictus, that's solid. Uh, who did he swing he at? Going? Must have been Broman. I'll bet it was Cardinal Broman. Because that's only a 13. 14, 15. No, that still would have hit. Yeah. Oh, what's his name is dead. Wow. Nilrem. Dang. And if he's going for Broman again, that is also going to miss. Man, that pull the strings definitely did work. And it looks like... Oh, he just took out his own Rust Gargoyle. With Rama the Cruel. Pull oh. it, kill Rama, draw a card. Some good tech. That is really solid. And it takes out the Rod of Stone, too, so there goes some healing for Stone Fist. All right. Manages to take dead. out the Junicorn. Uh-oh. There's the No Prisoners. So... One of them is going to be a critical failure off the Ginny. We'll see where that other one ends up going. Hopefully that was Broman with the 17. Yep. There it goes. He sees the ranks. He's going to try to break these ranks. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him one bit. And even if he hits the Invictus as a level 6, he can't take him out. Having those three hit points. Ugh, oh, what? brutal. Going to stun the Ginnicourt all the way up, so now he can't even react if... Uh... Oh, Rama already did his thing, so it doesn't matter all that much. Just going to try and hold ranks, maybe play another level 4. I know he's saying, where is my Helm of Dying? Yeah, right. Start getting him back. It's got another Get Invictus, though. Meet Central. I don't fit some care. Bang! I just didn't even... Oh, next both reacting. Miss? Does it? Yep. Turns that 9 into a 5. Swinging at plus 9, that's a 14. How does that miss Justinian? Uh, we roll 9 plus 6 is 15 minus 4, so we got 11. No more, uh, what's his name? No room. But Stonefist is swinging at a plus... Oh, right, the order to spend is a plus 6. Yeah. I gotcha. <clears throat> There's the prior rest. I wonder who. Sophique. Did he use the ability? I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, he used it. Yeah. Which is probably. I'm moving dying, I would guess. Or Davinus. It's got to be one of those two. I was going to say Davinus, but. Yeah. Helm would make sense too. Celtic and Chad is saying Helm of Undying. I don't know if he's listening to him or what, but that would definitely make the most sense right now. I'll be home, because then he can go kill Ged more. Oh, no. That's great, but he's not in there yet. Oh, never mind. He can get back Ginnicourt with the helm, though, yeah. Oh, it's very good. It's really annoying. Yeah, I believe that. Oh, I take it you beat Krakus when you guys played? Yes. And what are you running this tournament? 
What about a Dorath? A Blitz Dorath. Okay. Nice. Starting three, Stygian Wraiths, two Amadasi Rats. Wraiths is such a good level one starter. This deck is all about making the opponent starting lineup uncomfortable. <coughs> Brian Fiend's to switch out if I need him. But my Brian Fiend Gunda Killer. Yep. Danres. Did well versus Danres. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Got another Nil Rem from Forge Cake. That's pretty good. Helm Turn of Undying. <clears throat> Bullshit. Necro's get Helm of Undying, <laughs> but he can only get one supply, and he's not, he's not even unique. <clears throat> Once per turn, kill a ready character in your army to put a character of equal or lower level from your discard pile into your hand. Spend order. Do the same thing. So, He's yep. got a lot of options here. Yeah, let's just take a quick look at his discard pile. He's got the Zaros, the Miss, Cardinal Broman, Gedvenger, Lord Joxahannes. We can get that back if he plays another item that's unfriendly. Granted, he comes into play in rank three, and then two Genicord we'll Initiates. Get, we'll get Broman. Ring of Blasting. Uh, so we may be seeing that soon. We'll get Broman, bump the skill, kill him, do it again. Yep. Yeah, Rama with that kill outlet there. Let's see, did he draw any cards to get that Helm of Undying into his hand? Oh, yeah, with Torin. Okay. Yep. I was just wondering, like, did he have it there already? What is he doing? I don't know. It... He used Azran's React, it looked like. And then used Consume and then put Get Venger into his hand. I don't know exactly what happened. Just going to play the Opal. Not passing. Play the Get Venger. Spend the Opal for a strike, probably on Justinian. And he misses. Oh, no, he'll that's, hit Justinian because it never 13. Him. Yep. Uh, Nil round, definitely clutch. And both Justinians used already. Oh, look at that front. Ugh. That's that's hideous. a rough front rank right there. Well, I mean, he's had no problem hitting Planer up to this point, but I doubt his luck continues the entire matchup. There's the second Opal, leaving Bobby with one card in hand. And Gracchus spends Torrin back just... I guess to keep movements happening so he doesn't have to pass either just in case there's yep. a third opal have to imagine that's what's happening why did he roll twice there got the 13 and then the 14 power attack maybe oh yeah yep because that hits for three takes out the venger man just Bang. still that. able to hit planer whenever he needs to Stun up the Morak, and there's the Opal. So he did save an extra strike by stunning up that Morak. The Gene Corps, get rid of it now. Yeah, yep, no kidding. Hopefully he did, because he did not roll even. Maybe he was swinging on the Invictus? Yeah, it looks like it. See, yeah, it looks, I it mean... looks pretty past to me. Oh, you know what? Genicort's planer because of the Azran. That's right. Good call. So he could have been going on Ginnicord to try and get it to go away at end of turn, like you said, and just not able to hit that planer for, what, the first time this match, I think? <laughs> if that's the case, yeah. I'm going for the get Invictus. Gotta roll even anyway. Yeah. Two opals in the hand. Look at his hand. <clears throat> He's got three opals in hand, doesn't he? Yes. All right. Get more act. What did he call? Still showing Flame Blade. Flame Blade, all right. Well, uh, Grekus did just draw his hand, so he might not have changed it yet if he's going to. Wait and see till an action gets taken. See for sure what that Morak ends up being. All right, looks like he's sticking with the Flame Blade, and I don't necessarily blame him. You know, you go Flame Blade, Power Attack, got a dead and on hand. 
All right, turn four. We've only seen one severed, one return, one pull. This deck's Kel still got a lot of fuel left. Celtic is saying, wonder why Get Invictus didn't stun Stone Fist with his order. So, order, you may spend Get Invictus. Spend target lower level character within one rank. I mean... It's only a spend. Yeah, he just spends him. Stone Fist was already spent. Within two ranks if you spend Invictus. He's dodged having this for a while. Surprise. <clears throat> Invictus just going to swing here and try and take some uh, fodder away from Stonefist to get a few few uh, less strikes out of him. So he'll hit and take out the Serpent Skill Gargoyle. Only at one hit point right now because of the ranks. Let's see where that plus one ends up going. Go for the stealth. Stealthed. Yeah, these slags are huge. Magmite has two HP. But yeah, good choice. Yeah. Yeah, those slags are massive right now. And that's the weird thing about Stonefist. Like, most Warlords you go against, you know, you're just going to try and swing and take out their Warlord. But Stonefist, he slows down drastically when you take out his Gargoyles. And if you can get him to run out of gas, you have a much easier time killing him. Bang, there's a step. Veil passing! Oh! No, no, no! That is clutch. There's a, there's a big Veil passing there. Yeah, because that would have brought back, what, the Invictus? Yeah. So it looks like he went for the power attack, got it. Managed to hit even again and take out that level 6 Invictus. After an opposing character pays the cost of a react to one of your characters. Action, strikes, or movements, not death, so but the not death yeah. is not your death, not their death, so that should work. I wonder if that's what they're discussing right now. I mean this works as far as you know, yeah, I, I think it does. Yeah, I, I could see the confusion. Not death. But I think that's more like an Elamir react, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. After one of your unstunned characters dies, you're reacting to his strike, right? If my strike killed that guy, because you could, uh, react. if I kill a guy, you can seize life, and I can, or heal it, and I can veil passing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it works, because it's... Yeah, I mean... I'd be, One of I'd your be character's actions, strikes, or movements. They're showing... So the, the... It's saying specifically one of your character's actions, strikes, or movements. So I believe it's also implying your character's death. Like you're saying, like an Elamir-type reactor. Something that the Chosen might do. Reacting to your character's death. Not an action on an opponent's death. I'll stop the timer. Uh, yeah, Both parties I mean, need it. Pretty much the only timer I use is the, uh, the just how, however long my stream has been going and then trim off about two minutes at the top for pre-chatter. And generally my opponents have a timer as well. <clears throat> yeah, that is... That's a tricky one. I think they'll pass it works. I'd be shocked if it doesn't. Shocked. It's a good match, too. That's a big play, too. Yeah. Let me pull up Discord. I just wonder if they're asking about it in the rules chat right now. Yep. Gracchus just asked. Forge Cake says in chat that they did pause it. So Gracchus says in Discord, hey, can you Veiled Passing a Severed of Flesh? Veiled <laughs> Passing says not death. Uh, I can see. After one of your unsung characters dies, so you're playing it to that character's death. Not yeah. his swing. It's, uh, that's a rough one. I can't see how Veiled Passing doesn't work, but... Like I said earlier, you never know with these rules. 
Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Honestly, we we need Iceman in here, and that's probably just the oh, good old Iceman the one person for that would know. Forge cake. <laughs> this is um, turning spicy. So after one of your unstunned characters dies before fixing ranks. Yeah, I mean, I don't know enough to give a firm ruling here, obviously. I'm not a good rules guy. Um, I feel like it works, but I can see the confusion. I can see why it could get overturned. Honestly, the more I look at it, the more I think it doesn't, because I believe the strike process is something along the lines of, like, strike, roll, inflict wounds, and then after wounds, you check for death. Would that death still be... During the strike, then? It's going to be a rough one. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Because, yeah, it's huge, whichever way this goes, being able to bring back... Granted, he does only have one hit point, but still, just having a big planar body up there still. Now, he would come back with another one, because he gets to react, come back as level six. But Stonefist does two two wounds regardless so it doesn't really matter yeah but he could swing twice kill a couple slags he could yeah if he gets lucky with those rolls or you can help him real quick and go get a level uh, go cycle something out go get another one kill him with the rama you mean or uh, helm a dime oh helm kill it yeah level five get another get finger like there's a lot of options here that is true after one of your unstunned characters dies. Man, I just don't know. Now we see Medusa's Lord's Gambit. From outside of the game, Why? though. Why is that out there? I wonder if he's showing it to compare reacts. I don't know. Celtic, if you're still in chat, I know you're a pretty good rules guy. What do you think here? What's your way in? Can you veil oh, passing Celtic. severed of flesh? Celtic has answered like two thirds of my rules questions. Like he's the oh, MVP. Geez. Look at Celtic remembering from the finals. He played Bobby. No avatar or core for you, Bobby. Don't get him started. <laughs> Forged Cake is moving it back to his hand, so I wonder if they're just agreeing. Yeah, it looks like they're agreeing it doesn't work. Puts the uh, the two hit point counter on Get Invictus. Celtic is 30% sure uh, that you can't do it, so. <laughs> yeah, right. Honestly, well, I think... they, they, went with it. they went with you could do it, though. Yeah. Right? No, they went, with... get... they went with it. They went with it. Coverage in the it. graveyard. Yeah, he severed, he put the Veiled Passing back in hand. Oh. So they bom, said bom. you are able to sever. Yeah, I think that's the way I lean, but it's just so close. I don't think that's going to hit oh, a Oh, you slide, said in though. Discord they're saying you can? No, they didn't say anything. No one replied oh, okay. to them in Discord, so I think they just agreed. So he is able to take out... Yeah, Celtic, Celtic is saying he thinks you can't. I, th I think that's the way I lean, but man, that is... It's just so close. And it'll be interesting, you know, if someone's going to reply to this after the match and to know it could have gone the other way. Ah, uh, there's another odd. Yeah, and after taking out two gargoyles, too. Going to spend the <clears throat> Priorest of Feek back. I wonder if he's got another Get Invictus or if he's just uh, planning to... I think to, so. Uh, I Maybe didn't see a black one when we played. Well, he could uh, kill Get Invictus with Rama, get him back with Helm, and just drop him again. Or yep. just play another and one from hand. That works, too. No, he can't kill Get. Oh, yeah, with Rama, yep. With Rama, right. yep. There's just a third Get. Man, I can't believe he's not unique. But supplies. You can only have one in, right? <laughs> no love for the yep. dwarves. Dwarves don't deserve love or nice things. Whoa, whoa! Don't let the force <laughs> cake hear that. 
No, dwarves are cool. I, honestly, I wish they I were think. better than they are. I've always wanted to make, like, a dwarven dragon rancher. I just don't think they're that good. Like, Priam can do it decently. I mean, do you have any thoughts on that? Um, you want to talk to Priam. You could make sure you go reach out to Forge Cake. He's built every Priam deck known to man. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, when you think about dwarves holding ranks, if they can start holding, yeah, you could drop some dragons. Yeah. Just think some factions may do it easier, like a Merc or a Summoner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Merc is... That's why I haven't done it with Dwarves. If Dwarves, you know, Dwarves hold the ranks, they can do anything they want. It's just, you know, sometimes it's rough. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's something I'll tinker with uh, over the summer, trying to build a, uh, a Dwarf Dragon deck. I'm definitely going to be putting most of my time towards Build a Warlord coming up here, though. Oh yeah, it's gonna that's be gonna be so spicy. Much, so much playtesting that goes Probably fifty warlords that. already. Have you? I think I'm on thirty. That's gonna be wild. There's gonna be a lot of strong things. Oh yeah, yeah. I expect uh, probably a decent bit of broken stuff. It was nice that they made some corrections already. Cause just being able to start with a level one four hit point oh, three yeah. striker in the first strength that just uh, wouldn't have been any fun for anybody. I'm sure there are some broken things that people held on to and didn't submit for that purpose. So, I mean, I, I can't wait to see. I'm what sure get every there. play group got a couple things. They're like, "Don't say nothing." <laughs> yeah. Not us though. We didn't come across anything good, so we just told everybody what we had. <laughs> We're honorable like that. Honestly, the last two tournaments, I've tried to do something that's just like. Kind of janky, got combo based. Maybe try and be a little bit busted with it, and it didn't work out. So I'm just gonna play what I find fun this round. And if I go three and three, it's at least better than one and five. Hey, well, find a deck type you <laughs> like. See, I've never been a combo deck guy. I don't like combo decks. Stay away from them. I know there's a lot of good ones. That's just not me. I like them when they work. I, I just haven't found one that works lately. I don't want to do know. no Benedrick. I don't want to do Orpal Blit. I don't want any part of that. <laughs> Still not able to hit planar. He's been a bit of a slump, slump lately. Second Darkwood Staff. He's getting all his severed I'm really back. shocked he hasn't made a move to go get this damn Davinus. Got another pull the strings, though. Could... Oh, no. Uh, did Rambo use her order? I think we can hover over, actually. Nope. No, it's a play. not. It was a balance. Dangerous, so, though. Who's he going after? Oh, he Darkwood staffed it. Never mind. So, yeah, yeah, I didn't realize that either. Two balance. Okay. So now there's really no point to Davinus since uh, Stonefist can do his thing spent and balance makes sure he's not spent. That is one I don't think I've seen in a Stonefist deck. You don't see too many... I mean, even higher than level two is beyond no rem. Yeah, Bobby, uh, Bobby likes balance. That's also his movement. First turn, stun up and oop. Oh, that's ready. true. That's true. Okay. Yeah, essentially ready with balance. That is really solid. Oh, you and you know what? That that's a killer versus Davinus now. God, well, that's what, I'm, what do I care? that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Davinus is pretty much useless now that he's got the balance in play. Bobby's got the dwarfs down. If, you ever, if I ever want to build a deck, I'd, I was building one dwarf. I said, Bobby, give me the shell. I'll take it from there. Like, Give it to him. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Yeah, the actions I played... and items we could debate about. Character-wise, I'm like, just give me it. I played against him in Battlefields, and he was running uh, King Alaric and talking about how much he liked dwarves. I that was a really good, really his whole career. Game. Boom. There's two. It's got to be the Invictus. Yep. There's the two counters there. This is a good game. I. And this is still game one, too. Gra or... Yeah, I think Gracchus messed up. I think he should have went to get the Davinus instead of that helm. Could have slowed him down a whole turn. Yeah. yeah no he has a turn if he fails. He hasn't really done a lot with the helm either, because you have to kill a ready character. Most of his guys have been stunned. Exactly. 
Yeah, I think that Davinus, like you said, would have slowed him down. Only at six skill, getting rid of that Schoenhardt's makes turn one. Both of them are, I mean, down to 20 cards in deck, so, you know, Azran's got at least one MLG in there. Can he do four wounds? What's the Ring of Blasting say? Yeah, I mean, if he has that many spells in hand, looks like well, he shuffled... Well, he's got the Darkwood Staff, so... Uh, yeah, with the Darkwood, it, it looks like he shuffled a Sever to Flesh and a Pull the Strings back into his deck this turn, at least, if not more. <laughs> You know, I just realized it's funny. It looks like both of these guys pay for untap since Forged Cake has the sleeves, Gracchus has the playmat, but Gracchus doesn't have the sleeves. Forged Cake doesn't have the playmat. <laughs> I mean, I haven't made a playmat yet, but I got sleeves. I like your vac sleeves. They're pretty entertaining. Oh, Vaccaro when I was hitting them with a pie? Yep, yep. Well, there. I'll have them. I'll have a booth up set uh, at Gen Con Friday morning. Come get your Nirvana Tool <laughs> merchandise. <laughs> yeah, shirts, hats, he... sleeves. We got everything you want. And what percentage of a cut does he get? None. What do you mean? Okay, I was going to say, I wouldn't expect it any other way. I'll buy him some steak and shake and call it even. Perfect. Honestly, I feel like that's setting the bar a little bit high. Oh, damn. All right, we got a mass blessing out. Getting more cold flame blade, I assume. Yep, I mean, again, flame blade can just take out that Invictus by looking at it funny, so I don't blame him. But that Mass Bless is going to make it harder to take out uh, his front rank there. And he hits even, so... It's be an interesting turn. Soon from within. We got a wow. Val passing for this one. <laughs> That's death again, though. If they agreed it didn't work for the Severed, oh, I doubt yeah. it works for the Consumer. Right. Right. What happened here? All right, Bobby swinging and a miss. Yep. Unless that's power attack. Oh, that... Sable Knight. So Have you ever seen do... a uh, Stonefist deck that runs Embolden in addition to Mass Blessing? Since don't you not have to spend for that if it's same rank? Old is oh, level it's... five. I was about to say that is that level five. So yeah. And I, I know you. you you like I know you like mixing up your level five actions with your <laughs> level four warlord, but it's not, it's not try, try not to do that again. Ouch. Yeah, this, this is very true. I remember watching your stream. I'm like, what is that card in his hand? Why is he not playing it? I'm like, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oops. Yep, the thing caught that one for me, thankfully, before I cheated someone out of a win with it. That That's was great. Um, I kept doing that with soothing waters. Not to oh. off. I kept <clears> adding it in like. The Lady of Mercy deck I was testing, and they just kept saying it's not it's level five in our group chat. I'm like, oh shit! I don't know why I just kept kept doing it. Yeah, I play tested the hell out of that deck. I don't know just how I didn't notice it wasn't level five. It just slipped through the cracks. So Sable Knight gives him plus three to a niche. I'm not sure that's going to be too crucial here, but being able to do two things in a row could be nice off of that. Especially when you're setting up an MLG. Yeah, yeah, that's cards are true. so good. Nice stats, your HP, riding, initiative, and ability. Yeah. Why he's the hero. That's why he's epic. But yeah, I mean, in like a Paladin-based deck. At level 4, too, not, e not even level 5. You got a Tauren going on. So chances are he's getting the MLG. Maybe. I mean, he doesn't have enough spells to make it worth it this turn. That's true. He could stack it for next turn, but no, that is valid. If I was Third Nilrem. How did he get three cards. the one back? Uh, I think one of these gargoyles. Yeah, this one. Uh, Ice Secret. <clears throat> Kills himself, goes and gets a gargoyle from the graveyard. Oh, there it is. Okay. All three nil rounds out. That's really solid. Plus six attack, AC, and skill. So MLG going to be a bit more difficult for him now, too. What does he have that can up that uh, up the DC on it, aside from the Cardinal Brahmin? Do you see anything out here? 
Ring of Blasting. Oh, that's true. Move that's a spell just... in your discard pile. Mm -hmm. So a spell have plus two bonus. Yep. I keep thinking that's just a uh, static we'll... plus two, not a uh, do it any number of times as you want. Got another big planer boy. Ked Simeon. Not one I've seen since 4E, I don't think. Speaking of 4E, every time I see that Rod of Stone, I think it's the Bloodstone Rose from the Elves. Those damn Elves. Damn, look at that army. You got so big this turn. Both of them, frankly. <clears throat> but yeah, Gracchus is bolstering his ranks with Planar. I'm not sure Stonefist is plowing through anytime soon. I think... Uh, 13 cards he's got left there. He's just going to set up for as big of an MLG as he can get and not really worry about this Stone Fist too much. Especially with Azram being able to do his thing too. Just discarded a Severed. Oh, he uh, killed the Cardinal Broman with... Uh, with Rama? Rama? Yep. And Severed. Brilliant. All right, here we go. Setting it up. So next turn, it's going to be that MLG. Look, see Bobby roll 20. Yeah. Do it again. Broman again. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. That's insane. So 13 cards left in the deck and the ability to Torin. I definitely would be almost certain that he's hitting that MLG next turn. There's the Nogwick for the figurine. Just freaking imagine if he didn't hit the MLG somehow, some way next turn. Uh, where's uh, a Prios is done? Yeah, that would be rough. <laughs> 14 cards, you draw 5, and then you get to Torrent, so Torrent. 10, 4 cards left. <clears throat> There's a chance. Not likely, but a chance. If you Helm of Dying, you can hell 100%, pretty much 100% get it. Oh, that's true, because Rama draws a card. Oh, now he's Darkwood Staffing, so... Well, he's got to get those spells. He's got to get some... Uh, <clears throat> discard a couple spells here to get the, pump those wounds up. Yeah, yeah, just shuffle a few more spells in to make sure you get enough, I guess. Torin can discard any items or characters he gets to try and grab another one. Opal. Ha! Yep, all three of them. Grack is a little too quick on that uh, untap all. It's a plus 16 skill. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's... Freaking brutal. Yeah, there's a one. <laughs> now, I'm confused. Why do you put all three opals into play, not do any strikes, and then pull them out? I thought the point was to ready stone fist and do s strikes with them. Um, so Bobby passed first. So oh, he passed okay. as he readies them, and then they got to bounce. Okay. You set that them up sense. nice, and they pass first, and it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I I guess I just missed that he had passed. That makes sense. All right, friendly little mass blessing. Too bad that doesn't give a skill bonus for uh, for Stone Fist. <clears throat> Once we turn Stun, everybody wants to target dwarf all right so you lose a strike if he davenis you but you're not stunned i don't think davenis is the end game at this point oh no <laughs> with that uh one turn counter on the cardinal broman i know exactly what he's gonna try and do uh oh there's the ring of blasting scar to spell yep And an odd. Oh, no, power attack. Then... <clears throat> oh, and get Morak naming exhaustion just to be safe. 
So he can't uh, the play. can't spend off the ring of blasting. That is smart. Not now concerned about the flame blade the... anymore. He's got plenty of ranks. Be a DC twenty six like that. I mean, he can remove from discard pile too. Yeah, he's gonna have to. He's gonna be doing that as well. Because he got one, two, three, four, five, six spells currently. Or he's just going for the MLG. There it is. There's the scoop game two. <laughs> yep. Try to and get the scoop at... game in now. We're at 56 minutes on the stream. Uh, so probably about 50 minutes on the round. But they paused it too. So they're probably right. only halfway through this thing. Man, what a first game. I'm just curious if anyone's responded. Uh, the only person who's responded, Rain Blythewood, says he wouldn't think so either since you're reacting to the death, not something that your character did as an action. That's I think that's the way I lean as well. You know, Initially, it seems like it works, but then once you start reading the cards, it, it's tricky. Open it up with a bellicose to get Stonefist spent in the second. Start off with a few strikes. It's not bad. I'm sorry, I'm back. Oh, no problem. I was wondering where you went, if I still had you. Uh, bellicose up. All right, we got some movement. Coming in yep. hot. Did a strike, took out a Ginnicor, reacted with Azrain, who has a figurine of wonder as well, and dropping the Get Avenger already. Ring, Gene Cord. Bang. Another strike, take out another Ginnicord, consume him from within. It's after death, so Ginnicord reacts, still hits the stack. Not a bad card. If I'm Bobby, I'm like, I'll take that. I'm glad you have that card. Using it on a Ginnicord right now, you mean, as opposed to something bigger e later? Yeah, it's sort of an, another big planer. Like, that's just one card. That's fine. I'll take it. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, I get that. Those Ginnicorts are annoying, but better than the chance that you roll odd ten times in a row. Let's see, got a Magnite now. Ah, oh, see, oh, that's a dead card. Fire resistance. Oof. Yep. I want to see that. Yeah, definitely one he's not going to need, but I guess might as well throw it Interesting. Swinging on. at the Gene Cord instead of the Justinian. Maybe just trying to get those crit fails out of there early once Azran's already done his thing so he can't bring him back. Oh, maybe baiting him more act, less action so he can pass and get that Opal out. Possibly. I think it's still the same number of strikes. I'm not sure it necessarily creates more actions. Just going to play. Opal. Oh, yep. There we go. Got the pass from Gracchus now. One card in hand. Ranks looking a lot less scary than uh, turn one last turn. Or last game. That's going to hit. Maybe. Maybe not. Justinian doing his thing. Oh, so no. What a doesn't. play. Defend on the Magnite. Ha! It's already passed. Maybe he realized well, he can swing. 13, 19, 20. Looks like he passed. If that was defend. He's going to swing and take out the Justinian. Pass, so he's got another, another opal. opal. Wow. This is what Stonefist does. Looks like he failed the defense since an opal did end up dying. But, yeah, but still it gets passed. if it was a if it was a thirteen it defend plus six at one skill. I think that thirteen was what? a swing on the Justinian. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. I just know Magnite yeah. defended and there's an opal in the discard. Bobby is rallying. A miss. Mm -hmm. And probably swing at 
Hey, Green. Get that, get that crit off the stack. Hey, roll. Lock that third rank up. Ugh. Not going to get there. Got the Rod of Stone, which is nice, but... <clears throat> Bobby also probably not going to win initiative here. That Ring of Fire Resistance is nice for Gracchus just because it gives him one more order he can do before he has to pass to that Opal. Yeah. He used it last turn. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Might yeah, it's as at least well. Something oh, yeah. to do. <clears throat> is he a Phantasm here? Oh, return to us. Ooh. Uh oh. He's desperate. First action return to us? He may have drawn no guys. Can you imagine? I saw an MLG in the discard pile for a second, I think. I wonder if he accidentally discarded that. Sanctuary! Oof. What does that do offhand? He just shuffled it into his deck, so I don't know. There it is. Sanctuary says you cannot draw any you can't draw cards. Any card put into the graveyard goes on top <clears> of the deck instead. Wow. That is huge against this deck. And I, yep. Rolling even, even when he doesn't need a hit planer, which I'm not That's sure it hits. For the wonder, yep. Okay, yeah, it does hit. There's that Ginicort. Ah. Uh, ooh, the Val passing. Nice. Top of the deck. I wonder if they're having the same discussion as to whether or not it works. It yeah, looks Gene like Court they says, are. <clears throat> this is before, though. Before he's killed. Mm-hmm. Crazy you can't do that. And that's before he's killed. Since Severed is after a character dies, it's less so looking for... I wouldn't be surprised if Bobby said, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, let's just play. See if there's any more replies in the Discord. There is not. Celtic, you're not going to Gen Con? Come on, man. See that Gedvenger come all the way up, and another one comes oh, down. Oh, so you had Gedvenger. Man, that's going to miss. Unless he was going on the Venger. Nope. And to get Invictus, so he is starting to bolster Ugh. his ranks a little bit here. And he just missed two strikes, no matter where he went. Oof. Yeah. Man, the worst is when you roll even on a planer, but it still misses. That's the worst. Does have a Shadow Stone. No room. Okay. I get trying to lead with the pressure and try and take stuff out, but man, if he had that no room in play, he could have hit on potentially one or both of those strikes, depending on where he was going. And now if that's the Venger, that's going to miss. Which I think it was. Fail power attack, fail swing, yep. Brutal. Looks like he's got two more strikes he can do. He still has got two opals in his hand. That's true oh, no, as one well. One in the graveyard. That's one in the graveyard. So one in the hand. I just start going for those gen cords, and it looks like that's what he's doing. Save the Venger for now. He can react with it to try and spend the nil rem right now, though. And that looks, looks like, like that's, that's what, what he happened. did. Yep. Maybe it would have taken the first swing at the Venger, um, you know, and then do your last one at the Ginnicourt for the Venger to react, because essentially he just That's lost a... a strike there that could have gone at the Venger. No, because you know, it has to be within one rank, so you only have to spend a, a oh, no right, right, right. a strike, so. That's right. I forgot it was within one rank. He baited him, so when he drops Opal, one would Drop. have to spend if they both fail, so I could see why he did it. Drop a slag and the opal. 
Yeah, I forgot the stone fist was within one rank. I was thinking it was in your army, so that does make a bit of a difference there. I'm doing this. I'm swinging at one get vigor, then I'm killing that gene court. Got another return to us. Let's see, so he's got a strike with Stone Fist and a strike with Slag still, and could have another strike in hand, depending on what he's got. Bang, that's 2-1 Inger. Yeah. He could... No, even with Justinian, that still hits. Exactly. And Bang, Slag... He's going to try to take him out. Yep, try and finish the deed. See if he's got another even. And he does. Uh, that's going to miss. Is it? Oh, it's the plus six. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, he went for the Ginecore. Oh, he went for Very good. Get it out of the way. He probably has no other strikes this turn. That is clutch. How does How does that hit the Ginecore? It's also 11. Uh huh? What do you he roll? rolled a two. So that misses. Yeah. Unless I'm missing something. Was he planar? Yeah. Yeah, he was. He was a ghost. Okay, so. I caught it game one. You caught it game two. Hopefully it doesn't go to a three or both of us are going to miss it. All right. Sanctuary. Sanctuary goes away, out. but saved him a few Ginnicorts. Wonder why they rolled twice. Hmm. See a oh, problem of the cruel. Victus gives one to initiative, <clears throat> that's right. Alright, no sanctuary. Nice. Anything Rama kills is out of here then too. That's what he needs to slow down this draw engine. Now he's got to roll so he need some ugh, some evens. Yep. Man, if he could have kept that pressure on turn one, not missed two consecutive strikes, probably see Azran pretty rough shape right now. Why is he didn't stealth in that uh, Shadowstone Gargoyle? Oh, yeah. He swing at Justinian. Lock that third <laughs> rank up. But also swing with Stone Fist was good, too, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, mass blast. Bang! Let's go. Wonder what he's going to grab with the prior rest, though. Can grab nothing. Yeah, I mean, to put on top. Oh, I guess you can do it. <coughs> right. Because Rama still draws a card if you kill. Oh, you can't draw off the Sanctuary, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So yeah, that is not something he's going to get this turn. And depending on how much stuff goes to discard by, he might not even see it next turn. Hey, he's going to get a lot of devs on top of his deck. Got another Nilrem. See, that's the one downside to Sanctuary. Once he plows through all this planer, you know Gracchus is getting it back next turn. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of guys, but there's no drawing. So <clears throat> no draw tech. That's he, true. Forge Cakes loves that card. Really? And for certain matchups, it's just game over. You're playing versus an Elf Necro. You're playing versus uh, some Nazog that's trying to combo you out. Boom. Yeah. Game over. Yeah, I, I do like my draw base deck, so I, I can't say I'm incredibly fond of that card. Boom. Even. And if that was on the Venger, it's dead. Yep. Got one dead Venger. Figurine. Pop it out while you still can. Get Another Invictus. strike. Maybe power attack. Failed. 
Or he just swung. Yep. Nope. Power, Power attack, attack fail, fail hit. Hit hit for two. Just yep. fail two. Was it that high? Uh -huh. Power attacks of four. Double neuron. That's that 10, didn't count that. Two neuron, 14. Yeah, missed by three, I guess. Yeah, only needed a six. Swing again, Vinger. Boom, two. Dang. Oh, there's a torn to mess up the sanctuary. Big get Vinger. Bang! <clears throat> the evens are hot. I can't believe And the no prisoners. Let's go. So it goes on the get yeah. Invictus. It's going to miss. Too bad he couldn't take out the Invictus and no prisoners, but I understand the risk of the get Venger then and the yeah, Jennifer can't react. Do that. No. Bang, let's go. He at least gets Invictus. one extra strike. Oof. Oh. What a sanctuary to stop Rama and Torn. Get Invictus. Bang! When he hit the Ginnicourt last turn. Oh, no, it was the Ghost. That's right. I was wondering, did he have a Mass Blessing that we didn't catch either? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Get Vinger. Up of the deck. And Invictus. That's very solid. Well, if Bobby wins this game, they're going to have to figure something out because they're not going to want to draw. Yeah. We're to at the an hour, hour 12 on the stream right now, so they've probably got another 25 minutes or so. Depends it puts Bobby in a great it. position because <clears throat> Gracchus, I don't think, could win that fast. Bobby can. No. No, Gracchus' hope is to get all of those big planer guys back next turn, stall for as long as possible, and win this thing 1-0. That's it. Yeah, when I beat Gracchus, <clears throat> it was, uh, we had one minute left. Wow. A lot of time went by, though, because I was in a hotel, in a casino. I was losing connections, and I figured <laughs> out I should just go outside to play. So it was, there was a lot of BS going on. Now, were you in Jersey? Because in the winter, that sounds pretty chilly. Uh, the weather broke. It's nice out. Uh, Pennsylvania, oh, okay. Jersey border. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's been pretty warm here the last couple of weeks, too. Actually, not too terribly bad. <clears throat> Swing at Gene Corner Priors. I have it's to wonder if that was going on in Court. I would think Court maybe end of turn. You know, you don't have the power attack to try and hit Priorus. Yeah, it was. Double tap up. And that's a pass. It's so funny when you hit the untap all and just one thing untaps. Greg is definitely in a rough shape here, but again, if he's able to just drop those guys that Bobby just killed and stall a little bit longer, he does still have a chance. This is a game of rolling even right now. Yeah, honestly. Or... If he drops like Davinus and then Davinus is him and there's no answer. I doubt he's got Davinus. Because last turn, what died? Two Invictus, two Venger? So, I mean, I guess if Prior Ref grabbed Davinus, it might be on the top. I don't no, know. No, everything something... got shuffled in, everything dies, so. Oh, gets shuffled in? I thought it got put back on top. And shuffle. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I did not finish reading Sanctuary before it went away. Pop a figurine. Yep, get characters while you can. Swing, this probably be a power Swing. attack on the Prioress. Power attack. Yeah, I think pass. he missed that. No, he needed a six, didn't he? Oh, shoot, yep. Still hits for two. Oof, I know he's pissed. That's rough. <laughs> Man, failed power attack two turns in a row, too. That's definitely not ideal for him. Got a mass bless. I get trying to take yeah. out that prior S before the mass bless. Get Invictus at least not able to come in as a level six, so he's only going to have two hit points. All you have to do is hit That's that That's a beautiful once. thing. Yeah, Bobby wanted to hit, so he didn't get that figurine out. <clears throat> make yep. it hard, at least. 
Bang. And there's, there's a dead a... Prius. Yeah, even if he was going on gin court, that hits. I just wonder if Gracchus is deciding whether or not to sever the flush right here. You would get that nightfall trigger on Prioress again. And there's the severed. Oof. So he can find what he wants right now, put it on top. Prioress is only going to have one hit point, though. But still stays in play to hold ranks a little bit longer. And he has Rama to kill and draw. He has Torin to find what he gets. And there's no Sanctuary in play from Bobby. So that and Severed on the Prioress could actually be pretty clutch right now, depending on what Let's he gets. what he get. gets. What are we thinking? Maybe a Davinus. Uh, I, know, I know what he's getting. I'm him. I'm getting improved invisibility. Oh, does he have it in that deck? Yes, sir. Oh, hell yeah. That's got to be what he's getting. If, if, if that's it, that's game, I feel like. You can stall with improved invis for a while. Although, Bobby would probably just pass, pass, pass. But it's until end of next turn. That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. It's Davinus. Uh-oh. Uh, Bobby's got a... He's t is ten. ten skill. Looks like he used Rama to get the card, too. Not I don't know if Bobby plays, like, aura protection or anything. I don't know. As a cleric, I don't think good. so. If that was oh, on Invictus, he passes he's dead. it. And he locks that rank up, which is huge. Wow. Unless he has to get Invictus to play rank six, then whatever. True. Yeah, it, I don't know. If he does have improved invisibility in the deck, get I don't know why bang. he didn't go get it. That's the play. That's going to cost him the game. Got to consume. So Ged comes back. But he's stunned, so he can't react. So that Get Invictus may enter plays if you're level 6. If he comes back from a Sever to Flesh, you can just decide he's level 6? Yep. That's pretty good. That's really solid. Yes, it's really good. Alright. Even. Nope. There's an odd... Even. That's an odd. Oh, man. Looks like he's got four more strikes plus at least two opals in hand. Or is it wow, just one? That's a weird... Grax got no cards in his hand. Bobby got a full hand. No one's opal. No, there's two more strikes coming. Mm-hmm. A lot of odd. Got two strikes off the Ginnicourt he can do. A lot of odd. Wow. He's flipping the coin. Flip the coin. <laughs> After five odds, four odds in a row. See? Yep, four of them. Next one's going to be even. No. Oh, make it five. Make it six. He's getting diced. That oh is my unreal. God. He did dice Grack as most of this match. The, uh, wow. Stupid. The critical failure, too. That's just rubbing it Holy in. Holy shit. I think Stonefist heard us talking about improved invisibility and just assumed he had to miss everything. Yeah. All right, we got a Stonefist ready. Yep. Two strikes at least. I think he's got one more Opal as well. He may have no prisoners. Feel it. Doesn't matter if he can't hit. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? What Ten is that? in a row. Seven, eight, something like that. One, two, three. Try and take out that opal. And he does. No, he does not because of the uh, nil rems. What was the first roll for? Oh, Forged Cake rolled the 10. Well, who is he swinging on? Uh, defend. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. All right. Got a dead gene court. So definitely doesn't have that no prisoners.
Bring that Gun dude back stone. with Azran. Maybe he has another opal. I think he does. I thought I remember that he did. I could be wrong. Does what is that four counter on the Get Invictus? Do you know? Oh, uh, he's level four. Okay. There's the opal. Yep. And not to pass, just to play him and a miss. Bounce him back. A brutal string of rolls right there. Yeah, that that was unreal. Nine I had a match. I think I rolled. This is in a row. I rolled. I don't remember if it was eleven or thirteen odds in a row against uh, Scape G in strategic. Still ended up winning, but it was just the most infuriating thing. My God, that hurts. Yeah, planner is a pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. So Davin is probably going to do his thing again right now with Gracchus winning an ish. A or we're going to Phantasm. <clears throat> so that means no consume from within from Azran. Ged? Ged Vinger, uh, maybe? Oh, Ged Invictus. Invictus, okay. Enters as level 6. Not that that really matters, though. Because, I mean, dies after he suffers one or more wounds. Colonel uh, Roman. changed his mind. Interesting. Very nice. Good play. Would Not just need to back though. it up. <clears throat> oh yeah, but yeah, he does put it on the Davinus. Davinus yeah. Yep. yep, that makes more sense. Uh, now we got the no prisoners. This will be interesting. It's going to come down to whether or not he can roll even on that Invictus. So it was a miss and probably hit the Broman, yep. Let's see if he has another one. Hmm. And there goes the Davinus roll. So yep. we got here. Ugh. Fifteen. That's. I think Wrong. Davinus got it. Wrong way, Bobby. <laughs> it readies <laughs> me, right? I get more strikes. That's gonna slow him down. All those gargoyles in the front right can still strike. And going on planar, it's not like you know you need that massive attack. There's another sanctuary. sanctuary. Yeah. Okay, that could be interesting. Nice if you have won initiative and got that all first. Up that phantasm. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Uh, right, phantasm. Swing. It. Players may not draw draw or retrieve. Okay, so yeah, phantasm would have not Court worked is out there. Dead. Uh, and doesn't that? Go to deck. Yeah, he just got it. Yeah, Torin can't do anything. Can spend up. Okay. I guess he really needs to make room in rank four there. That eight, if that was on Invictus, that's a really solid roll. I'll bet it was on Torin, though, would be my guess. So that's probably not going to hit. Yeah, he got double oh, uh yeah. no rooms. Oh he's got going for Rama. Torn. Useless Rama. Gotta just stun it up to hold ranks. Unless he's got a five he's planning on dropping. Man, we're at an hour twenty four, depending on how long they paused it for. This I don't could have much be moves close. too. Because he got the opal. Once Gracchus mm -hmm. passes, there it is. Yeah, because opal doesn't say non-stunned, does it? Nope. Davinus locks him down for a few swings, but... Torin. Bang! Got a dead Torin. If he's got another guy or if he puts a counter on that ring. He passes. Ooh. Three cards in hand and forced to pass. Swing at Rama. Bang! I can only assume it was Rama. He might have been Invictus. Uh, 
I think it was Invictus. Unless he was holding a separate of flesh and is now realizing he can't play it. Here we go, Victus power was, attack check. Was the Rama? Has the power attack. It doesn't matter. He's two oh, hit no. points. He's only. Oh yeah, you're four. right. Bang, dead. Let's go. He's saving that the power attack for Asrin. Two. Ooh, now here comes the power attack check. He's dead. Bang. Let's go. Yeah. Yep. Game three. Keep spinning. Another There's that two. 17. That finishes it. Stonefist pulls it out. Wow. So they've probably got 10, 15 minutes, maybe. They like you said, they can't draw. They no, gotta... this, this really favors Bobby, as you said. They're Rekas rolling off. Rolled. He rolled a 20. Oh, my God. Wow. The roll off. We should have told us. Yeah. Oh, Crazy. Man. They decide on the roll off before they even. Uh... They have to. You can't go in there with a tie. No, I know, but I mean, they didn't even finish time on the round. Yeah, Bobby could have potentially pulled it out quick, depending on opening hands. But I, I, like I definitely understand. There's a couple of minutes left. Gracchus didn't uh wasn't a time snob and and, and slow oh. play, so I'd give him the respect. Like, guy, <laughs> right, let's just roll it off. Sure. No, I get that. Yeah, it probably wouldn't have done it in, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Wow, and Gracchus gets the nat 20 on the roll-off. That is brutal. Well, I guess that is going to wrap it up. can't win initiatives or roll-offs. So Gracchus potentially on to top <laughs> eight. What a match. I... All right. Yeah. I'm getting out of here, man. Yeah, no problem. I was about to say the same. I appreciate you coming on and co-commentating. Good luck in the top eight, sir. It's been real. I'll let you know when... Um... Oh, here we go. Forge Cake with a roll-off loss. We, roll... we rolled off because... <laughs> I know what you guys are doing. I bet I see that 20. I just started screaming, it's a roll-off! And then... Uh... <laughs> on a game I could have... I... I... To be fair, I could have slow-rolled him, but I, I didn't just... because... I just did the same thing. I said, I'm sure they went right to the roll-off because like... Rackers could have slow-rolled. Let's just get it over with. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby, how many did you get when you rolled those nine odds? <laughs> was, it, was it nine? I got really was, bad. But that was so Gracchus, many. Gracchus was like, but you just killed like three three hit point planers in a row. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, that was I was like, no one ever asked me how mad I get whenever somebody rolls seven evens in a row. Yeah, no, you oh. were playing with those evens and those. Oh yeah. my god, you rolled so up, many just, evens nope, nope, all nope. game. Yeah, plan I don't really mind planer too much. It's just when I think everybody gets frustrated when they roll their, you know, five odds in a row against it. Yeah. That game was way closer than I thought it was gonna be. Like that was tough. Like Sanctuary, by the way. Who is it that you say says that card is bad? Every deck I build, that card kicks me in the nuts. <laughs> no, the card's good. <laughs> the card's real good. I've never no, seen I it just always play give him until shit. now. I said, no, he gives he me shit. He tells me this. not to run it in any deck. He's always trying to build it. He starts, he's like, I'm building a new deck. And the first three cards are Sanctuary. I'm like, stop doing that. He's like, I <laughs> like need to play this card. Sanctuary Avatar Core. Like, it's always <laughs> I told Celtic. Chase he needs to put, I told Chase he needs to put Sanctuary in Lucian so he can get back his Potion of Use. And he's like, yeah, but what about my Claremonts? Don't play it till they're dead, stupid. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, you pick when you play it. Play it when you want. Like, Sanctuary's really ultimate good. meta. Sanctuary will just win a game. It, yeah, especially right now because everybody is so freaking greedy and ancients. God bless. Guilty as charged. Oh, yeah? Are you playing, like, something super dry? I have a decent amount of draw in most decks I build. But, I mean, I went one in five, so how well did it really work out for me? Oof, yeah, you had, get... a cool, you had a cool deck though. You had a really cool deck concept, so you get like at least three wins off that. Okay, Brock, are I'll you definitely it. in now? I think uh, so. So here's the thing, man. Oh, like Eagles tiebreakers are really, really good. Jackal dropped, which hurts me. It's like mm. we're just gonna have to see what the tiebreakers are. I think I'm in. I think. Good thing. I'm in. Yeah. Good thing you got me. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like I'm really <laughs> glad. Yeah, so Hope my strength of schedule is insane because Rain is in, and I've played against him. You're in, I played against you. Temperance is in, I played against him. 
Yeah, just don't report until you figure out if you're going to make it if you win. <coughs> oh, yeah. <that's> <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll just collude on video. Hey, Wyvern, don't put this out. This isn't live, right? We're not being no. recorded? No, <laughs> no, definitely no, not. Put it I, out after the tournament's over. I <laughs> promise we are not off. live. You have to roll off. It's Warlord nah, 101. No, it's, it is. It is. You know, two minutes left. I can't I can't do that. Everybody that's ever played this game has been in a nice, a serious roll off. It just happens. Mm -hmm. Like, you have yeah. to. Both I not going to make it. To be the, fair, we talked about if it goes to game three, we'll do a roll off before the game started. And had it gone to, if we weren't doing that, I would have just, I, I could have just slow rolled game two for the win. I didn't want to. Because yeah, like when two, you, you killed could, me. You couldn't slow roll game two. I had three sanctuaries. I can <laughs> stutter while I shuffle my cards in oh, my hand. You think it, I, don't want to, I wouldn't have called you on that and then flown to Kentucky and just taken you out? <laughs> if you said the same thing to me, I could have slow rolled you. I'm like, oh, thanks. I'm standing outside playing this match drunk. I could have I didn't do it to you. I, I forge cake. Tell him what I told, told you. He I specifically you did not. Shit. I specifically didn't slow roll Midge or you because I like you both. Oh, wait, this is being recorded. Fuck you. I hate you, Forge K. Save this. <laughs> Chat, clip this. No, don't I'm, clip I'm gonna, that shit. I'm going to clip just that. If you clip yeah. me saying I like just Forge K, it's going to ruin, it's gonna ruin three Forge careers. Cake. Well, look, it's you just said it again. Forge You're making my job easier. Rep. It's going to ruin mine, and it's going to ruin Chris Back's stream. Oh, that's a great thing. Clip that and put that as like your sub thing. So every time someone subs, I like Forge Cake. It's <laughs> <laughs> so fucking annoying. I can't believe I said that. That's uh, beautiful. So that would be great. Beautiful. I'll see Jesus. what I can do. I'll get five for that. You do that, I'll get five. I'll get five <laughs> right now too, actually. Uh, so amazing. what did the game, was the game easy to follow or was it confusing as fuck without being able to hear us? For the most part, no, I think I the thing it. that stood out the most, hey, thank you, Midge, gift in to Oliver Eagle, speak of the devil. Uh, I think the thing that stood out the most was whether or not you can veil passing to the Severed of Flesh, and we were pretty up in the air on that too. I think I lean towards the side that you can't veil passing it since the react is to the death and not the strike or the wound, but... I think mid. I'm just like fuck this. This is because I'm changing the fucking game. That's what I was nah, saying. No, because you used to like I remember you could do it when fail passing came out. Like you yeah. could stop severed, you could stop gene court. You but did it get re did like it that. get reprinted with not death? Like, is there MRP on that? I don't no, know. But it was I... like I don't know what the fuck it means by not death because you're still reacting to the strike. Like, it seems like the not, not death is reacting. You're reacting to, reacting to a strike. I think the not death is reacting to your character's death, maybe, since it's after a character reacts to your character's like movement action or something oh, like that no or no, not no, no, no it got reprinted it got reprinted originally after an opposing character reacts to an action striker movement performed by one of your characters cancel the react okay it got reprinted in epic it's not great to... they make such a great card and then they're like oh wait the elves let's make the elves a little better let's just change this up stop that like give me a break hey uh, let me let me tell you this you want to talk about mrp's fucking me i'm not running core and drag because she ain't level five anymore bullshit she she's would be amazing four. in this deck if she was still level five. Why does it matter if she's level five? You can kill her as to get back a level oh, five. To get back your level, yeah, but, but you can still kill her to, to get, get Invictus back. In the yeah, but yeah, but you can get back Vinger with her or Sophie or whatever. And then when you're getting her out of the yard, you just have to kill a level four to get her because she's level four in the yard. They could have uh. kept her at level five. It would have been easier for me to kill her instead of some of the other shit that you. Put I <laughs> did not know she ever was a level five. Honestly, she so yeah, she, she used to have. She, when she, the original version of her, she was plus one level while in play. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Ah, oh, fuck at all these dead. I need you one of you. I need you to play uh, Celtic and beat him for me, please. Yeah, I'm going to beat Celtic. Uh, you beat Rain. Because oh, I can't win right against Rain. I got you. Yeah. And I then can't beat Petrarca because he draws incentives every fucking turn. <laughs> that's just what he does, man. What's the deal? So, dude, where we are on incentives? Do we think that that card is the most fair Warlord card ever printed, or do we think it's uh, busted? I personally I think... think it's fine. I think it's busted for Traka. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So it, is the it has its on? uses, I don't, I don't... but Benzot, get <laughs> out of here. He got in there. No, I'm down to Benzot. I've had enough of him, Come honestly. On. Twenty years. Ban him and supply. No, there you go. Like, and no, supply. Me, <laughs> you, you we got, I brought that up about three time. times. I brought that up about three times. We got to get supply back to just unique. If we could just ban 
supply instead of just restricting him incentives would be fine i think yeah <laughs> i don't think i think it's just it's just the interaction with petraka but what do you do at that point you know but the, the interaction with petraka is good but like it's great. like it's really really good it's over the top but like the card is really good in any cleric or any support rogue all right so it here is my thing about it, is, it is very good but it's very clunky at times you're running in bold and you're running that you may be running healing so like you could get stuck with that card in your hand i feel like tavis time. runs i feel like because i feel like tavis doesn't run in bold i feel like tavis runs i feel like tavis should run that card tavis yeah, really yeah. Like, sees life and healing though the two strikes is fine i the, like I the fact that they the are planar is big too other than that I, I've never played a tournament where like, oh, except for Petraka, I'm like, oh, if he draws incentives, I'm just done. Like, Petraka's really, really good. So, like, I don't I don't worry about Petraka too much because whenever I play test it, all I need is a severed or Consim in my opener. And if he kills the two Justinians, one jumps to the back. The first one that he kills stays where it is, and the second one jumps to the back. So I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? But the, the fact that they're plus 17s for fucking an extra rank away is insane. Yeah, that you can't reduce. That's and then, yeah. then the next action, he goes swing, power attack. Oh, no, just swing, hit, swing, hit. Yeah. Acts of faith or whatever. It's very, he's got a very that's good why, deck. That's why you go first action, you tap back uh, Gene Court. Gene Yeah, sure. I've done that. If I win initiative, that's what I do. Well, I can't do Which that. Is... No, you <laughs> no, can do that. You can't. That. Your whole starting RV is Yeah, I can't do that. You can take that. out a Gundo first action. That's it. <laughs> Maybe oh, next time if I ever play this random deck, I'll add one Will O' Wisp for Celtic. So here's what I There you go. Then I'll dominate him. This is this is who you need in your Dorath deck right there. Fuck Gundam. Right there. What's up? <laughs> he starts uh, stinging rates, so he's beat the shit out of Gundam too. Oh yeah, that's right, they do, right? <laughs> he pulls out a squire you need, after again. You need out a squire. Squire. <laughs> <laughs> Dorath is a cleric, right? Yeah. Yeah, so why don't you run incentives? And then fucking Stygian Wraith, Stygian Wraith, hit, hit, dead Gunda, dead Gunda. What is Stygian Wraith's oh, attack? God, I should be it? telling you what you should run in your deck. Yeah, what should I run <laughs> in my deck? Um, All right, guys, well, I got to get the Father bed. Rant's hands. Probably what? Father Rant's hands? Uh, it was fun. It was a it lot was of really fun. fun. It, was it, was it was good. That was definitely a good Warlord game. Like, the match, that was like, a some really real good Warlord match. right there. Yeah, yeah like is really, really good, and I think Azran's really, really good too. Oh, yeah. Azran's too. underrated. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys. Have a good night. Peace. Peace. Thanks to streamer. everyone thank for, for streaming. Absolutely, I was about to say thank to thank you to everyone for coming on the stream as well, and thanks to those who watched, and we'll be watching the vod later on. I'll go ahead and wrap up the stream too, so the rest of y'all can head out.